so the first project we do is a t-shirt design so uh, from your canva go to templates and select custom t-shirt wait for it to load so we will create uh, our own so select create your own it will load the uh, page where now you can create your own design i've researched a few tags which you can use you can also research yours online uh, the first one is free hacks so we copy um, then uh, under templates we can search for, for one template mm, like this one then we edit the text and replace with us so just copy paste select the text then uh, paste yours then i uh, need to remove the text on the background so move that aside delete this so you have a uh, text free hugs uh, just position correctly then we can look for another image to replace our coffee cup so type uh, select uh, element then uh, search for hugs you get so many results you can either narrow down to photos graphics videos or audio there are so many uh, you can select from the ones with the with the icon at the bottom those are uh, require canva pro so we look for since my account is free so we look for the ones which are free uh, we can look for a cute one so select a graphics then we can scroll down um, as you scroll down it will load more so you can select like this one for avocado uh, this one for kids if you're making for kids you can take a cartoon it doesn't look uh, good we look for another image um, yeah this one for avocado then i can move the one for cartoon then uh, position it uh, correctly and also expert expand to fit well then you can change our text you can uh, also enlarge also change font size font color so mine i'll just change the color and put to red i think that should be fine it's the first design which is complete uh, I can either add a page or duplicate this and replace the text with the second one so you can pick the one for I'm not st I'm not that stupid so copy that um, look for images stupid none uh, we can uh, search with a different different name let's use uh, which one mm, genius the opposite of uh, stupid since we are saying no, we are not stupid so we can pick one yeah, so we duplicate this to create a duplicate of the first page so we can change our text and replace with uh, the new one uh, it's called um, not stupid so then resize you can change our text a font you can use razor dog you can use any text then and nudge to fit well yeah, that's nice then position correctly 
uh -huh. then we replace our image so delete this we can pick this one that depicts a genius so just click on it to road then expand to fit well make it bigger so now we have uh, two designs we have the first one and the second one which we can then download uh, for our project so we go to download button share then click download uh, we will download as png there are limitations you can't download the transparent if you are using a free canva you need a canva pro but don't worry we use other options to enlarge our image so click download both of the images will download as a zip file so we have our zip file downloaded which we can unzip within our download folder and view our images so give you some time depending on how fast you download is so open the folder so right click uh, zip file unzip so just unzip in the same name then if you open inside you have your two designs now if you open these designs they have a background which you can not see which is a uh, white since we are using canva free so we need to use another tool first to remove the background so open and you will be opening a new tab and uh, if you look at the settings for the download uh, we didn't download a transparent because uh, of the limitation on the free canva account so we need to remove the background there is a tool that we can use it's called remove bg so search for it online then upload your image if you have looked through the previous tutorials i've worked through this tool so just upload your image give it some time to load uh, it works through the image removing your background it's a free tool but uh, you need uh, to log in to get a, a big image um, you'll not be registering because when you register for free account you just get one credit then you need to buy more credit so you'll be downloading the image as it is, the size so the quality will be lower but if you look at the image the white background is already removed but the size that is available for, uh, for us when you are not logged in is small so you need a uh, ID to get this you need uh, to sign up and you get just one credit that means you only be able to process one image since we have two images you can just download the free one small one which we can uh, view where we can edit this with other image editors uh, that will not give us a um, clear image so we use another image and so upload our image we want it in png then the scale factor we put to 4 we saw the image was around 400 so if you multiply by 4 you have 1600 though you can increase that scale factor you yeah, leave the other then uh, start processing it will take a while um, give it some time to prepare it will upload and enlarge your image based on the scale factor uh, and finally we have our enlarged image click inside the image click at the image and it will start to download so once you click it should start uh, downloading the image yeah so 
this is our image the enlarged one so we can go back and upload the second image to remove the white background so we select the second one the one for I'm not stupid it will prepare as we wait for that to load you can just click on the image the enlarged image it will be in our download folder so we need now to download the second image without the background wait for it to download so we have it there without the background so we upload it on our image enlarger.com go to image enlarger upload the second image the one that we have removed our background then uh, we want a png and a scale factor the same for you can put uh, yours a different figure and click start so these images now uh, will be ready to be used on a t-shirt design so in the next tutorial i'll be showing how showing you how you can sell this uh, t-shirt design online you'll be creating accounts on uh, various platforms and i'll take you through the whole process until a uh, selling point so if you go back to canva and click on your project you'll be able to see what you have done canva saves it under your projects then folder name which you can uh, change so if you click you have your images now we need to organize our files the one that we have uh, downloaded the enlarged one so we give it a specific name both of them so give them a name then we organize them inside folders so we rename the files give them a name that you can remember then we can create folder uh, for the original files the one that uh, downloaded from Canva and the one that we removed back load can call, I can call mine original then drag them inside these are just for reference purposes might require them then the final images which I'll be using now for my t-shirt designs that is to sell online so in the next tutorial we'll be walking through various platforms where you can sell your t-shirt designs I'll be taking you through how to make money at this t-shirt design either as a freelancer or online uh, stores uh, be sure to check the link in the description for this playlist so that you are able to see other tutorials subscribe, like, share and let's meet in the next tutorial thank you